responded, so that's good. <laughs> Perfect, let's come to seated. I'll try and do a, a little bit of a, a gentle one on a Thursday morning. So we've just got 40 minutes and uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, core work in that time, but nothing too gruelling. So begin in a comfortable seat. You might be cross-legged or you might be kneeling. Just getting yourself centred in yourself. I'd like to invite you just to deepen the breath slightly. Wow, that's good. And just letting the outside world drop away. We'll take some slow, deep breaths. Marvellous. And placing the hands together at the heart. Just pause for a moment and this week we've been dedicating our practice to the, the feeling of thankfulness. So if there's just sending out a little bit of gratitude for this time we have together, for this place we find ourselves in. See if we can generate that feeling of gratitude in your heart. And we're going to interlock the fingers and press the hands up. That's nice, taking a bit of a stretch now. Please drop the left hand to the ground. We'll just side stretch to begin, waking up the side body. Those of you who've been coming this week, we, you know, we've been doing a bit of side planking. So we're going to get the shoulders nicely warmed up before we begin. So let's change sides. Place the right hand and stretch out through the left. Nice stretch through the left side, leaning into the left side. Very good. And coming back to center, let's take a deep breath and bring the shoulders up to the ears. And exhaling, drop the shoulders away. Good. So we'll take the right hand to the left knee. A nice twist round to the left. We'll draw in on the navel, take a deep breath in as you turn. And then just settling into the twist, gently looking over your shoulder. And inhale, centre. And relax the shoulders down. Let's take the second side. Looking over your shoulder. And inhale to centre. Bravo. So please join me on hands and knees and I'll wait, warm up the spine this morning with these gentle cat-cow poses we do all the time. So this one, the, the knees and the hands are a little way away from each other. Just lift the chin and the chest on the in-breath and on the out-breath tuck the tailbone and look back between the thighs. So just doing a few of those in your own time. Feel that spine unlocking and warming up, deepening the breath and you get a sense of synchronising the breath and movement. Very nice indeed. So pausing with a flat back Got a few shoulder stretches for you. So, if you would, please raise the right arm and see how it feels to look up towards that hand. And then we'll take a deep breath and then bring the back of the hand to the ground. We, we sort of thread it through, don't we? And come down onto your right shoulder, right side of your head. That's good. If you want, you can raise the left hand, and the other hand. Take it round the corner just to make it a little deeper. And back to hands and knees. Marvellous, circling the shoulders. Let's take the second side. So raising the left arm, opening up, looking up if that feels okay. Take a breath, bring the back of the hand to the ground and kind of thread it through, come onto the side of your head, shoulder. 
And if you want a bit more, raise the right arm. And take it round the corner. Lovely. And back to hands and knees. I'd like to invite you just to a, a little bit of a child's pose to begin. So taking the hips towards the heels, come up onto fingertips. And just circle the shoulders a couple of times, bowing the head between the arm bones. Maybe you can get your forehead down and your elbows off or, or something like that. Lovely. You'll come up to just a simple kneeling position if that's comfortable for you and then bring the hands behind you. And then we're going to lift your hips away from your heels. If you're not happy kneeling, Corinne, you can just lean back like this. And then we'll come to all fours again. Tuck the toes under. And then when you're ready, lift the chin, the chest, looking up. And on the next exhale, we'll take our first downward facing dog. So pressing up and back, keeping the knees a little bit bent. Just stretching the inner thighs back. And just go ahead and pedal the knees very slowly. So bending one knee, then the other. Getting a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Great. Let's walk the feet and the hands towards each other. Come to any kind of a forward bend that feels right. So you don't have to overdo it, you don't have to overstretch. Take the elbows if you wish. And just hang loosely, double checking those knees aren't too locked. We'll get the, the weight more into the heels. Give the shoulders a shrug upside down. Very nice. So with the hands on the shins, we're going to come up halfway, please. So on the next in-breath, extend horizontally forward. And on the out-breath, bow. Let's do that two more times. So inhaling, lengthen the spine forward. And exhaling, bow. Last one. Nice extension, crown of the head in one direction, tailbone in the other. And bow. And then root the feet, bend the knees, we'll sweep the arms overhead. And bring the hands back to the heart. Good. Deep breath in. Mountain pose. Well done. Standing tall. I'm going to bring up the arms and just take a moment to roll the shoulders down. Soften the knees, please. And taking the right wrist, let's bend the left knee and sway to the left. Coming back to center, changing sides, sway to the right, bend the right knee. A little bit of a stretch happening. And back to center, let's reach up with both hands. And now I invite you to just bring the hands to the back of the head, just to the widest part of your skull. Soften the knees, and you're going to scoot the hips forward. Lay the head into the hands, winging those elbows wide for a lovely back stretch. Can we curl the shoulder blades towards each other a little bit? Lift and open in the throat. Take a breath. And releasing the hands to the sides. Fantastic. Give the shoulders a shrug and see how that feels. So we're hopefully warmed up a little bit, ready for our sun salutation. So let's take the version where you turn the palms forward. Standing tall, feel the soles of the feet on the other. On the inhale, we'll bring the arms overhead, big stretch. On the exhale, swoop down, nose to knee, bowing the hips. Inhale, halfway up. Exhaling bow. On the in-breath, all the way to the top again, please. Big circle. Palms together overhead and bring the hands home to the heart. Take an inhale, look up, brighten up, and release the arm. Inhale, rise. And again on the out-breath, bow. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. And we'll step the left leg back, please. So you've got a nice big lunge happening. Nice high lunge, knee over heel. That's good. And then when you're ready, let's change legs. So bringing the back foot to the front, second side. And then take the left high lunge. Wonderful. So from here, let's step back to a plank. So if that feels right for you today, nice plank pose. And then we'll come down with the knees first, and the elbows close, come all the way to the ground. Let's lengthening through the legs, we'll curl up, kind of shrug the shoulders, take a breath. And then flowing through, downward facing dog. Long, slow breaths. Marvellous. Enjoy some deep breaths. Just giving your head a bit of a nod. That's lovely. We'll walk the feet to the hands and coming to a forward bend again. On the in breath, coming up halfway. Exhaling back. Inhale, bring the arms all the way to the sky. And exhale, hands to the heart. Deep breath in. Mountain pose. Wonderful. Inhale, rise. And exhaling, swoop down, bowing those to knee. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhaling, fall. Same again, we'll step the left leg back. So you've got a big high lunge going on. But this time, can I invite you to bring the back knee to the ground? Let's get into a, a little bit of a low lunge. We'll bring the right hand to the hip. Start to turn to the right, so moving your middle, shrug the shoulders, turning the head and neck, just seeing how that feels. And we'll open up, lastly, with that right arm. Looking towards the fingertips, if that feels right, if it doesn't feel so good, just look down, it's absolutely fine. And then we'll take a breath. And both hands to the ground to change legs. So back foot to the front. And then back knee down, low lunge. So setting up so you're pretty comfy, left hand to the hip, we'll turn to the left. Give that shoulder a bit of a shrug. Opening up when you're ready. So move your middle, ribs, chest, shoulder. Lastly, your head and then the hand. Taking a deep breath. And we'll come back to all fours. Fabulous. Inhale, lift the chin and the chest. Exhale, arch the back and hollow the belly, tail between the legs. Good. We'll come to just a, a square shape, a flat back. You might need to walk the knees back a bit to make this box shape really even. So we're going to spark up with those core muscles now. So could you extend the right arm, please? And take the left foot towards the back of your mat and see how it feels to bring that left leg off the ground. If that's going well, we're going to bend the back knee, the left knee, and then reach behind. Maybe your right hand will touch the left foot, I don't know, or the trousers, or just going in that direction. If you've caught hold of it, great. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. We're going to kick the foot into the hand if it's going well and look forward. Nice. And then releasing both knees to the ground. Let's change sides. So extend the left arm and the right leg. So any, anything on this sequence journey is fine. If you want to keep your toes on the ground, you can. It's, you're going really well and you're balancing. Bend the back knee. Um, opposite hand, opposite leg, key. That's really hard otherwise. <laughs> Better. <laughs> well done. And then kicking the foot into the hand. We are going to go there in a minute. But yeah, just, just for the warm up, opposite hand, opposite leg. And relax. Good. Let's lift the chin and the chest. And then tucking the toes, come back to your downward facing dog. 
pushing the thigh bones back, getting a lovely stretch. Very nice. Think about lengthening the sides of the waist up and back, gently dropping the heels to the ground. Long, smooth breath. And then we'll walk to the top, taking a forward bend. On the in-breath, extend the spine. Exhale, bow. Inhale, we'll sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Wonderful. Let's take a nice wide stance, please. So wide leg pose. Bringing the hands to the hips. Squaring off the sides of the feet with the short edges of the mat. Let's get heavy in the heels and strengthen the legs a little. Please take a deep breath in and hinge forward to a wide leg forward bend of your choice. So you might want to bring the fingertips down or keep them on the hips, whatever works for you. Place them on the legs if you prefer. That's good. So we'll soften the knees. Root down through the feet and come on up. Brilliant. Taking the whole of the left foot out then, let's pin that knee to a square. Maybe walk the right foot a bit wider if you want to. Floating up the arms, give the shoulders a bit of a shrug. And shimmy. Thank you. Settling into your warrior two. You can remember our alignment tips for this as you turn the palms face up, scoop under the front hip and see if we can draw in on those strong internal muscles. Circle the shoulders onto your back a couple of times. Take a breath and brighten the chest. And then we'll turn the palms to face down and gently rest your gaze on your middle finger. Enjoying the breath. For a few moments. Very nice indeed. So we've got a, a bit of a sequence here to warm up the shoulders. So join me by bringing your right forearm to the right thigh. Sorry, left forearm to the right, left thigh, big pardon. And then we're going to bring the, the right arm alongside your ear. That's nice. And shrugging the shoulder onto the back. Kind of plug the arm bone into its socket and then extend out through the fingertips and strengthen that right leg. Well done. So you've got a, a stretch all down the right side and then with the head, lengthen the top of the head diagonally away and rotate the neck so we're looking up underneath the arm. Oh my word, that's looking fantastic. Take a breath. And then we'll bring the arm towards the ground, drawing a big circle and float back up to your warrior two. Good for you. It's pausing here. We'll take a bit of a reverse warrior now. So this is the right hand goes down a straight leg. Turn the palm of the left hand up, and bringing that left arm alongside your ear, tracking that knee over the heel. Getting an opening in the left side now. Very nice. Look underneath the left arm. Breathing into the stretch. Well done. And then swooping the arm towards the ground, coming back to warrior two. Tuck under that front hip, draw in and up. Your core muscles. Well done. Inhale, straighten that left knee, hands to the hips, squaring off the feet, and just turn to the second side if you would. So, turning the whole of the right foot out, bend that knee to a square. Make your way into your warrior pose. Very good. Just check in with yourself all the alignment tips that you remember, and then we'll turn the palms to face up. And I'm just going to say take the inner thighs back a little and tuck under that right hip just to draw in and up on the core muscles. Circle the shoulders backwards a couple of times. Take a deep breath, brighten the chest. 
and then palms facing down, rest the gaze on your middle finger, right hand. Feeling that engagement all around the hips and that softening in the shoulders as you breathe. Beautiful. That's so nice. We're going to bring the right forearm to the right thigh and swoop the left arm alongside your knee. Great. Give the shoulders a bit of a shrug. Bring that shoulder blade more onto the back. Rotate your middle, your chest. Hug the shoulder onto the back and extend out through the fingertips and the little toe. Oh, yeah. So the whole of the left side is getting a lovely stretch. Looking underneath the arm gets the head in exactly the right alignment. Just see if you can lengthen diagonally through the top of the head as you rotate the head. That's perfect. Looking good there. Take a breath. And then swoop the arm alongside the ground. Come up to warrior two. We're back. Take a breath. And we're ready to reverse the warrior. So the left hand goes down the left leg. Turn the right palm up. Good for you. And then we'll bring that right arm alongside the ear. Getting a lovely opening. Excellent. Can you walk that left fingertips a bit deeper down the back leg? That's good. Extend out through the right fingertips. And looking up underneath the arm. Have a lovely stretch. Bravo. Let's take a breath here. Root the feet. Inhale, straighten that front knee, feet to parallel. And we're going to interlock the hands behind the back. So if this isn't so comfortable for you, or if your elbows stay bent, just put your hands on your hips as far back as is comfortable to reach. So interlock the hands or place them on your hips and we'll root down through the feet, strengthen the legs. And wherever you're at, squeeze the shoulders in and Kind of brighten and broaden the chest. Marvellous. Deep breath in. And on the out breath, we'll flow through, bringing the arms overhead. Having a lovely stretch. Looking back through the knees. Great stuff. And then please root the feet, bend the knees to rise. And we'll step the feet together. Good stuff. So I'm coming to a little bit of standing on one leg this morning. And if you need to hold on to the wall, that's absolutely fine. Nobody will notice. Okay. So we're going to get um, start on the left leg and just see if you can catch hold of to the front of the right foot mm -hmm. and kicking the foot into the hand move that leg back so you can see we're getting a bit of an arch in the back there's a few ways of doing this you can also have the fingertips pointing towards the ankle it's a bit more advanced bend the back elbow if you want to make more of an o shape and then we're going to extend the left hand up towards the ceiling all right, see if we can balance like this. It's going really well. Look up towards the left hand. That's a challenge for you. I'm going to do this at the wall. What you need is to really focus your mind and your gaze. Because I'm looking at everyone and talking. I'm doing a very really good job. Not that I do a very good job anyway. On this one. <laughs> That's looking great though, guys. Keep the focus for another few breaths. And relax. Thank you. Let's change sides. So using the wall for balance if you want to. Let's take the front of the other foot and kick it away from you into the hand. We're looking to make a sort of O shape behind you with the arm and the leg, so bending the elbow and the knee, if you like, strengthening the standing leg, reach the hand up, finding your balance, if it's going well, look up, that is advanced, so 
Let's see how you get on. Focusing your gaze on a single point can be the best thing sometimes. Wow. You're looking so steady this morning, team. Well done. It's fantastic. And relax when you're ready. Superb. So we're coming to two feet, coming to mountain pose. It's getting heavy through the feet, let the top of the head gently float up towards the sky. Take a breath. Coming back to our sense of thankfulness as you breathe. Just enjoy the breath. Enjoy this body, this time, this place. A simple gratitude for the act of breathing and, and living in this moment. And then on the inhale, we're going to bring the arms up and over. And on the exhale, swoop down to a little bit of a forward bend, please. Good. Inhale, extend horizontally. Exhaling bow. Let's step back to our down dog. Just having a nice stretch here and down the dog. Good for you. Let's come to all fours again. So back to hands and knees. Making sure that the hands and knees aren't too close together. And I'm, I'm going to suggest you raise the right arm and see if you can take the left foot towards the back of the mat now. So this is this is harder because it's the same side. So right, no, not left leg. Right hand, right leg, same leg, same hand. If it's going really well, sort of track that right foot towards the back of the mat and maybe you can take it off the ground as a smidgen. That is hard, you probably start to shake a bit. Ooh, you're doing it, Walter. It's a kind of balance and the strength thing, isn't it? Let's change sides. So for the right hand and right knee are taking the weight now. So I'm going to take the left hand off the ground, slide the left foot towards the back, and then see how it goes. Maybe you can take the foot off the ground as well. But takes quite a bit of strength, so just see how you feel. Ooh, yes, and back to all fours. You're looking very strong today. Let's move on to our side plank. So we're going to bring the left hand more central and then take the right foot kind of parallel with the back of the mat and bring that right hand to your hip. Okay, so you've got your right foot on the ground and then we'll see if we can turn the whole body and keep your balance in this position. Excellent. Raising the top arm. That's looking good. Fantastic. Same thing, second side. So I'm going to bring the right hand and right knee to be the balance points and take the left foot to the back of the mat and it's directly in line with your hand and your hip. Open up to the left. Great. It's sort of getting the waking up and turning on the muscles that we're going to need for our side plank. So back to the first side. This is a bit harder because we're going to use straight legs, please. So from all fours, let's step the right foot behind the left ankle. And we're going to straighten the left leg so the left foot's in line with the left arm. Oh, so this is a bit harder. Excellent. Turning your body towards the ceiling. Maybe open up with the top hand if it's going well. Oh, 
Guys, that's looking great. Take a breath. And we'll swap sides. So go through all fours just for ease. So right hand. And then it's going to step the left foot behind and extend the right leg. So I like to think this is a bit like a bike stand, that back foot, just to give you a bit of stability there. Opening up into your side plank. Back to all fours, guys. You're doing great. Okay, so let's go for the full pose, all right? <laughs> so left hand and left foot. Start with the right foot as a kind of balancing thing behind the other leg. And if it's going well, stack the feet. If it's going really well, raise the top leg. Yay! There we go, Rachel. It's looking good. Well done. Think about the sides of your neck and see if you can extend the crown of the head diagonally away. Oh, that looks better. Bravo. Let's change sides. So the right hand, right leg. Use the left foot for balance and then you can just keep that balanced foot there if you want or stack the feet or even raise the top leg. But Think about the neck as well, whichever version you've chosen. Lengthen the sides of the neck diagonally away. Oh, good. Very good, Corinne. You are look, looking good there, girl. Oh, American Becky, I didn't know you are here. Well done. <laughs> Let's come back to all forms. Okay, shrug the shoulders. With a bit of a shrug, deep breath in, lifting the chin and the chest. And we'll shift the hips back to the heels, extending those arms away, bowing the head. Please come up onto fingertips and kind of hollow the palms. But this is a great way to release those wrists after all that. And then we'll come up to kneeling, if that's comfortable for you, and bring the backs of the hands to the tops of the thighs. Oh, bless you. Just making a big angle with the wrists, really. So you should be able to see lots of creases by the wrists. And this is to open up the wrists and release that any compression in those tiny little wrist bones. We'll take a breath and brighten the chest, soften the shoulders onto your back and just observing some gentle breaths through the nose. Coming back to our gratitude practice for the day. Just thinking of one thing in your life you are very grateful for. Could be big, could be small. And just seeing, letting that emotion fill your upper chest. Well done. Very nice, everyone. We're going to extend the legs. And just walk your bum back a couple of inches. Coming up onto fingertips again. Get comfortable in what we might call the, the seated angle, dandasana. Well done. I'd like to offer you a little bit of a twist here. So taking this right hand behind you, left hand's going to go to the outside of the right leg, and sitting up really tall spiraling around, looking over your shoulder. What's quite nice is to curl the back shoulder blade in towards your chest. Um, this will lift your chest so you can turn just that a little bit more. Spiraling around. And inhale, centre. Perfect. Let's change sides. Fingertips behind you. Up, turning round, looking over the shoulder. Bend the back elbow and just curl that shoulder blade in a little deeper. Lift and turn the breastbone. And inhale. Centre. 
Very nice. We'll bring both arms up towards the sky. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Sitting up really tall. See if you can feel those core muscles engaging as we lift and reach up. Hip bones heavy on the earth. We'll take a breath. Draw in on your belly and take your hands towards the legs. Any kind of forward bend, doesn't matter. Bow the head. Let's take a breath here. Exhale, soft. Breathing deeply. See if you can feel your breath moving in your upper back there. Lovely. Soften down with each exhale. Brilliant. And then inhale to emerge. Relax the shoulders down. Great. So we're going to scoot the hips towards the middle. Come to lying down. And with the knees hugged in, take a gentle rock from side to side. That's good. And we'll drop the knees over to the ground on the right. And we'll go ahead and spread out the arms. Shrugging the shoulders underneath you. Getting a lovely twist happening. Brilliant. Swing the knees back to center. Taking them over to the other side. Having a bit of a twist happening. Any version of this twist that suits you. Marvellous. We'll come back to centre, please. Bring the feet to the ground, hands to the ground. Just tuck one shoulder under than the other so your chest is a little bit puffed up. You've got a nice arch under the waist, feet rooting into the ground. And then we're going to come up to a bridge. So inhaling, lift the hips, root the feet down. And you can either take the side of your mat and shrug the shoulders in or interlock those fingers, whatever you wish. Marvellous. Getting in a really good bridge just as we come to the final few minutes of our practice today. We'll take a breath. Follow the hips down. Go ahead and bring the soles of the feet to meet each other. So the knees are going to fall out to the side. Bring the hands onto your belly, separating the hands. Just take some relaxing into this shape for a few moments. Bringing the head in line with your feet. Observe your breath moving underneath the hands. That's good. Wonderful. We'll take another breath. And when you're ready, straighten the legs and bring the arms overhead for a nice stretch. Wonderful. Now let's roll over onto your right side and get comfortable on your right side. Maybe make a pillow with the arm. That's good. Please push yourself up to seated and we'll meet together in a seated position. Getting comfortable, any seat will do, as long as your spine's more or less straight. That's good. 
that's wonderful. I'm coming back to our, our gratitude practice. Place the hands to the heart in Namaste. Just thinking of something or someone in your life that's making you feel thankful. And sending a little blessing out for that. And then we'll take a deep breath. And release the hands and prepare to rejoin the world. So thank you again, everyone. And look forward to seeing you soon. I'm here Sunday night.